covering Wisconsin weather for 20 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. After our 10th straight day with above normal high temperatures, today was not day number 11. We missed it by just a couple of degrees, and this afternoon we missed it by 10 to 15 degrees if you just take into account the afternoon high, which was only in the mid 60s. The cool weather is going to stick around for tomorrow as well, and then we will warm back up again. Mid 80s return by Saturday afternoon. Right now we are looking at those cooler conditions across all of northeast Wisconsin. Temperatures are mainly in the lower to mid 60s. However, in Anago, it has already dropped down to 59 degrees. In Appleton, it is overcast and 63. In Green Bay, the temperature is 65 degrees with a southwest wind at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Once again, those winds today gusting between 30 and 40 miles per hour out of the south. So our colder air was actually moving in from southern Wisconsin. More on that in just a second. Along with the cooler weather, also much drier air moving into the area. Dew points have dropped into the lower and mid 50s. In fact, the dew point dropped below 60 degrees today for the first time in a week. So the stickiness is gone. NBC 26 precision radar shows dry conditions across central and eastern Wisconsin right now, but off to the west, we've got another area of showers out towards the Mississippi River. This activity will be rotating in here later on tonight into tomorrow. We can see a large area of scattered showers and sprinkles here from Minnesota down into Missouri, and that is basically tomorrow's weather. As you take a look at the satellite picture, you can see a strong area of low pressure located across Western Lake Superior. This cold front actually came in from the south earlier today, and the cold air followed behind it. Did the cold air come from the Gulf of Mexico? No, it came from Canada. It actually worked its way south and then rotated around that area of low pressure back into northeast Wisconsin. You can see underneath the clouds, it was cool today, feeling more like late September or even October. And tomorrow we can expect more of the same with high temperatures running about 10 to 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. In fact, when you're talking about highs in the 60s, you're talking about record low high territory. The coldest high temperature ever for August 20th tomorrow is 64 degrees. That was set back in 1907, 1985, and also 1990. The coldest August high temperature on record was 59. That was set back in 1915. Precision cast shows plenty of clouds across the area tonight. A couple of showers and sprinkles will work back in from the west. And then tomorrow we'll see mostly cloudy skies with once again a chance for a couple of raindrops. So your forecast for tonight does call for cloudy and breezy conditions. Not as windy as it was today. We'll see a shower or a sprinkle work through. Overnight lows will be in the upper 50s. Tomorrow, plenty of clouds. Yeah, there could be a little bit of spotty sunshine. We'll have a chance for a shower. Windy and cool. Highs will only be in the mid 60s. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 65. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Riverview Gardens in Appleton. And yes, we did do that today. I forecast 77. And the actual high temperature before the cold came, the cold front came through, was 76 degrees. Now, if you're going to watch the Packers tomorrow at Ray Nitschke Field, you can expect mostly cloudy skies. It's going to be windy, and there could be a shower. Look for temperatures slowly climbing through the lower half of the 60s, back up to 80. 80 on Friday with a lot of sunshine, mostly sunny and great on Saturday. Beautiful summer like weather. Then a system on Sunday will give us a chance for some showers and thunderstorms, followed by another little taste of fall as we move into Monday. After that, it looks like a significant warm up as we get closer to September. Temperatures will warm back up into the 80s and we'll have a chance for some more on and off showers and thunderstorms. This will just help us appreciate the warm weather again. Yeah, on Saturday <laughs> you'll be like, whew. Glad that's over, yeah. or maybe a sign of things to come. I know a lot of people on my Facebook page today were like, oh, I'm so glad it's like cooler, fall. I'm so glad it's drier. So kind of a mixed bag of emotions across the year. Not this bad afternoon. overall. No. <laughs> Thanks, Cameron. Yep. Well, how much fun can you cram into 